Today in Tracy's basement, it's time to build my Imperial Army. Welcome back to the basement, welcome to the channel if you've never been here before. Today we are opening eight Black Series Star Wars figures for our eighth anniversary. For our eighth anniversary, Tracy gets eight Star Wars Black Series figures. It totally makes sense to me. <laughs> yeah, I know it makes sense to you. If you guys watched the channel a few months ago, Derek the Border Geek Jones sent us a box and one of the items in that box was an Imperial Death Trooper which was totally awesome, and it was the first Black Series figure I ever got. It may have started something. Yeah, it may have sparked something in Tracy's deep, dark heart. <laughs> <laughs> She's totally dark side. I decided <laughs> to start going around looking for other Imperial troopers so that I could start my own little Imperial army, and then that kind of snowballed, and I started picking up some of the First Order you did, troopers as you, well. You did good, though, you man, because there's a lot of Star Wars yes, Black Series there to are choose a lot from. of Black Series figures. And they are solid figures. They're nice figures. Oh, I'm going to put him over here for a second. Um, but uh, I lost my train of thought there. <laughs> what? Oh, he fell over, threw me all up. Lot but, of figures. Yeah, there is a lot of Star Wars Black Series figures. And uh, they're solid figures. They're great figures. Very nice. But yeah, there are so many of them. So I, was, I couldn't I was, get into getting no, all of them. <laughs> I, I was worried <laughs> when you said, when Derek said that, you said, I really like these. Uh, but you did good. You managed to stick to only uh, Imperial soldiers and stuff like that. So that's good. That's well, good. Only bad guys. Basically. That's good. That's good. <laughs> so today we are going to open eight of them for our eight year anniversary. One for each year. Ooh. Because we're so cute. <laughs> it wouldn't be us if we didn't do something silly on our anniversary. So who are we going to start with? Uh, so first off, we'll start with, um, this one's actually a 40th anniversary carded one. Yeah. Um, most of the ones we have are, are the original Black Series boxes, box ones, uh, with the collector-friendly packaging. But... The Stormtrooper... Yeah. The Stormtrooper... Impossible Trooper, to find. Yeah, the original the Stormtrooper one is not an easy find in the resealable packaging box, so we did pick up a, uh, carded one for the 40th anniversary. And now, this is going to make a lot of box collectors cringe a bit. Uh, because we are going to open this oh, guy. Because know, yeah. we don't keep things in the package. <laughs> that sucks. We don't want to be a toy channel that shows you boxes. We want to be a toy channel that shows you toys. And I want to play with my And you want to set them up with all your nice uh, guys and stuff like that. So, we are going to open this. But I will admit, as much as I hate inbox collections, I think they're ugly looking. Uh, the, these are kind of an exception. They because are kind of nice looking, actually. I, yeah. Well, I kind of understand picture. the point of it. The whole point of these re-releases, most, well, one point of them is just to get another uh, release of the thing out so they can resell them <laughs> without making old collectors mad. Because um, it, it is, these are the exact same figures. They're oh, just yeah, they're, on, they're they're just on card them. backs. Uh, but the whole point of this new 40th anniversary line is to kind of make it look like the old yeah. Kenner figures. It, it's trying to give you that nostalgic little so, boost. So I get the whole collecting these and keeping them on the backing card, and I won't fault anybody with these kind of figures for doing that, because that is kind of the whole concept of the line. But, but. <laughs> <laughs> this is Tracy's basement, and Tracy wants her Stormtrooper. So, there's your Stormtrooper. <laughs> <laughs> so our first Black Series for the day is the Stormtrooper in his lovely classic Yeah, the classic armor. Stormtrooper. This that's, is actually one of my favorites. Yeah, that's my figures. favorite right the there. very just, like, it's a Stormtrooper. It's like it one is. of the first things you think of when you think of Star Wars. Yeah. And well, it is extremely well done. It's one of the first things you experience when if you were uh, your first time going back and watching the exactly. old movies. This is one of the first things you really experience. This is, hey, welcome to the Star Wars universe. <laughs> and I've, I've always loved the look of the old stormtroopers. Oh, look, the old the original, stormtroopers is amazing. Yeah, the original stormtroopers. I've always loved the look of them. And they really captured everything about it, especially in the helmet. The helmet is done perfectly with all the little details there. Just totally awesome. He comes with two great big guns. One of them fits in the holster in the back, so you can get 
some cool poses. Some cool? Some cool. cool. <laughs> you I, always do that with I the word cool. I can't not say cool. I don't know why. You just said cool. Yeah, cool. <laughs> ah, I got it in. <laughs> This guy is so awesome. He just has all those little details, like the little plates that come up over the knees, that weird uh, canister that's on the back, and the big belt and everything. Of course, the helmet is absolutely perfect. Just so, the armor is so. It, it looks done. exactly like, you know, it's the '70s. We're making a sci-fi exactly. movie. We have to piece together some plastic and make it like. Exactly, Look, it's those have, giant hunks of whatever they could find, you the, know, yeah. hockey gear and football the, gear. This is how we built have. our army. This is the 70s, this is Star Wars, that's awesome. Absolutely perfect. Okay, next, this is from uh, Black Series. These were released uh, later on, not one of the older ones, but it is from the original series, and it is the Snow Trooper. The Snow Trooper is really cool. I really, really like the yeah. look of the Snow Trooper. I like it. Uh, I love the snow mask. That, yeah, there's uh, something the about that big long mask. There is the Snow Trooper, and like I said, there's just something about the Snow Trooper with the big long hood over his face and everything. There's just a cool look about him. And he's got like random pieces of stormtrooper armor, but then the big long winter coat and everything. Which is funny that the snow trooper is less white than the stormtrooper, because yeah. you think he'd just be the more <laughs> camouflaged. I don't know why everything is yeah. kind of brownish. But, but he's got that off-white, uh, beigey type color to him. That's pretty cool. He's got the big pockets and everything, and then a canister again. He comes with the backpack mm -hmm. that just clicks right in the back there. Very, very cool. Just, oh, that's so classic. And he comes with the two guns as well. I think they're basically identical to the snow trooper. They look guns. pretty similar, yeah. But, but there's what just I really... lots of little differences about the snow trooper that makes him unique. I love it. What I really like about this guy, too, is it's got like the mud stains around yeah. the bottom of the coat. <laughs> I don't know how well you can see that there, but it's like he's been walking through the thick, uh, wet snow, eh? Slush and it's getting and all, and, yeah. it's kind of going up, uh, running up his coat there. Very like, Little tiny things like that can really, really add to a figure. So, this is very, very cool. He's gonna look great from off. Gonna look great in your little army that you're building. <laughs> We've got one more original series, uh, trooper here. And this one is really cool as well. I really like it. It is the AT-AT driver. Side note, AT-AT, not at-at. I hate when people say at at. Yeah, an ATA. -AT. Just can't stand it. Eh? <laughs> I can't stand Actually, it. Actually, <laughs> I realize I'm going to put Derek's Imperial Death Trooper over here too, just to join the army while we're here. Keep the whole family together. Yeah. The ATA -AT driver is awesome. I love his uniform. He's mostly gray and kind of an off white, but he's got that big mm -hmm. pack on the front with the tubes that come up to his helmet yeah, and everything. I love the respirator tubes. They're really, really cool. The helmet's kind of a little bit different, and he's actually got Imperial symbols on the top there. There's just a lot of detail in this guy, and there's a lot of like uh, weird little pockets and folds and whatnot on his outfit that is really cool that kind of gives that material feel rather than yeah. the, uh, the armor feel. Yeah, it's very, very cool. Very yeah. awesome. He comes with the one little gun, and the only unfortunate thing about this guy is it would be really cool to have him in an at -AT. <laughs> Well, I mean, you probably can. We haven't looked into it. They probably no, make I, one. There's probably one somewhere along the lines, but... I haven't seen it, and it will probably be very expensive. It will <laughs> definitely be very expensive, but you know you're going to want it if you ever see it. But. I love this guy. He's got, like, the belts around him and everything, too. The they're, all loose. Stuff. they're all loose hanging. He is like very, that. very cool, and he's a little bit more unique than the other ones as well because where it's not all armor, he's got all the fabric and everything, and he's got that little pack. I love him. He's absolutely yeah. cool. Very, very cool. Love the Imperial Troopers. All right, so should we move on to some First Order guys now? Sure. All right, so here is your first first order guy, and I really like that guy. This is the Flame Trooper. He's really cool as well, yes. So the first order Flame Trooper looks very similar to a Storm Trooper, but there's a lot of little different aesthetics, some uh, just the shape of the armor, the pieces and whatnot, and the helmet is quite different as well. But he is mostly white with the little bit of black. He does come with the huge flame uh, gas canister. Yeah, the big old which is awesome. propane packs or whatever on the back, whatever you'd call it. Napalm, uh, cool. napalm tank. Napalm tank, yeah. So it clicks into his back and looks absolutely awesome. And I, then... I absolutely love... I dig, totally dig the look of the First Order Stormtroopers, oh, yeah. by the way. These I love cool. the look of them in the, the new movies. I and do the like. tubing coming from the canister clicks into... Oh, that's cool. His flamethrower. So you click the tube ah, on. Uh, that how is, awesome is that? That's pretty awesome. That, that is quite awesome, actually. No. <laughs> I like it. I said it's the little things, eh? The little things that it make really, the really is. There, 
I, obviously, I'm not going to be able to get it into his hand now because that would be too easy. Yeah. But, <laughs> but that is super cool that it actually connects like that. It just makes it that much nicer looking. You know what I mean? Yeah. Very, very cool. Uh, I'm pretty impressed. I love the flame yeah. trooper. <laughs> I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have to start. Uh, Holding up the guys, I think, because you're getting yeah, I'm a everybody. little buried there. I'm gonna start <laughs> so. knocking everybody over. Okay, and then the next one we got is the First Order Snow Trooper, which is also very cool. Also I like the look cool. of the new Snow Troopers too. Very uh, different, actually, than the old ones, but a yeah. very cool look as well. The First Order Snow Trooper actually is all white. Yeah, I was about to say that—that <laughs> that is what the major difference I think between the First Order uh, ones and the original imperial ones is, is there's there's no real off-white no there's a little no. bit of black a little bit of stripes there but he's actually all white yeah. he kind of style is a little bit similar but it's almost like it's a modernized style a more yeah. modern uh the jacket and all that kind of stuff i love it i think it's more... i think it's really cool yeah it's really really nice very uh interesting comparison to the old and the new i want to actually stand them next to each other when we get them all set up we'll do it on instagram i'll post some pictures yeah. And he does come with a backpack as well, and he does have his gun, which is very different from the original No Trooper gun. Yeah, it's very, very cool there. It's got a little scope on it. Yeah. Um, I like it. It's got the little, you know, do-do-do pads, though. <laughs> uh, you know, it may be the first order. It may be long after the original Star Wars story, but everybody still has do-do-do pads on them. You gotta have the buttons. I call them do-do-do pads. They're called do-do-do <laughs> pads. <laughs> Don't 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 change the terminology. Sorry. It's in Sorry. the official Star Wars uh, record books that they're called doot 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 pads. Look it up. So don't forget it. They're doot 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 pads. <laughs> if it's not, I'm coining the term it. Trademark Tracy's basement doot 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 pads. Uh, he's got the little uh, the imperial or well not imperial code anymore. I guess, I guess you wouldn't call it a eh? but. Yeah. Uh, yeah, do they still use Imperial Code? In, no, they well, don't. I don't think they do, not, do not they? Not I noticed. I'm no, trying to remember back me. now. There might have been yeah. something on a screen in the background. Oh my god, we'll have an angry nerd! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's got the little code on him and stuff like that. But I really like the dig the like jacket and stuff, yeah, too. Yeah, the big long part he's of the jacket the, that comes down over the legs. The little ridges down the side of the jacket. The, he's got the you know wrinkles in the pants, the stripes on the inside of the legs. Very cool. Love the helmets. Love the helmets, the helmets on the snow troopers. Make the snow troopers. Yeah, yeah, I really, really like the helmets on the snow troopers. I, well, the helmets make a lot of the troopers they in do. general yeah. to me. Um, so when you said you were going to stick to trooper stuff, I was fully supportive because I love the Star Wars troopers. So. They're all awesome. So definitely very cool to add him to your little army. But not only that. We have the Toys R Us exclusive First Order Snow Trooper 2. Very cool. Now, this guy is awesome because uh, he has the thing that I've always liked about the Sand Troopers, which unfortunately we don't have a Sand we Trooper. Sand that. Trooper is one of my favorite looking Storm Troopers, actually. Ne probably next to the Death Trooper and the original Storm. Well, Sand Trooper is basically an original Storm Trooper with, with the pad on the yeah. orange pad. Right? But <laughs> I've always dug the orange pad, and uh, this guy has like the pad. Like the original set. See, I know my stuff. <laughs> Terminology. So this guy came with the gun already in his hand, so yay! <laughs> <laughs> to struggle with that off camera for you guys and stuff like that. But I really, really like this. So what? it, it is a pad. It's a shoulder pad. Your Stormtrooper uh, yeah, fell I, over. I, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it's a shoulder. You're making fun of me on the terminology, but it's a shoulder pad. It is. It's a guard. Would be what you would call it, though? Okay, I'll There's call it a, a shoulder guard. Okay. okay, we'll call oh. it a shoulder guard. Then. I can handle that. That sounds cooler. Does it sound <laughs> more badass to you? It's a shoulder guard, not a pad. I see where you're going with that. But, <laughs> but he's very, he's basically the same. Yeah. The exact same as the regular snowtrooper, except for that guard. But that guard makes all the difference. Yeah, there's just something about that. It just makes yeah. it well, a little bit extra cool. It's very common when uh, they do this in Star Wars 2 is they put two troopers together and they always have a slight difference between the two of them like if you go and you look at like the expensive statue sets and things like that that come with two of the same troopers there's always one with like the shoulder guard or a different yeah. ranking or something like that um something it's, it's to always differentiate them. yeah there's always yeah. slight difference you know the tie fighters one had the red stripe right yeah. to the symbol that he is the uh the leader right oh god i hope i didn't screw that up <laughs> Uh, my words, your words gotta come to you quick when you're doing these videos, but uh, yeah, he's basically the same, but the difference in the Toys R Us exclusive is that he comes with the shoulder guard, 
So, Which I really like, yeah. so I had to pick him up. <laughs> so we won't stick on him very long, but it is cool to have the two different ones together because it's always like having a little duo tag team, yeah. right? And this one is a little bit cheating, but we had to get it anyway because at first we couldn't find a Stormtrooper. Yeah, we were looking all over for a Stormtrooper and we happened to find this in a local comic shop and it is Han Solo in the Stormtrooper armor. So... What we were yeah. gonna do was just put the helmet on him. Yeah. Had had we not have found a stormtrooper, <laughs> we were gonna cheat and, and just put the the helmet on Han. But that, that would have worked too. Yeah. We eventually found a stormtrooper, so all was good. So yeah. Okay. This is cheating a little bit. It is Han Solo. You can see his very rugged handsomeness in the head there. <laughs> but you've always loved Han, so it's I okay. I loved Han. Happy <laughs> You need to find a Luke now. Yes. I desperately need to find a Luke now that I found the Han. But his body is basically. The exact same as the Stormtrooper body with all the armor and everything. He yeah. comes with the gun as well. It's pretty much down to a T, except he doesn't come with the big gun. Yeah. Which I don't he know if the, the I don't know if the original Black Series boxes came with the big gun with the Stormtrooper or not, or just the 40th anniversary. But not sure. It's but they, basically exactly the same. They included the gun that he is using in this scene. Yeah. So we do have that. We have the little gun to go with him there. Slide that in. And he does come with the Actually, stormtrooper. I'm just going to put it down here because <laughs> it, it can be frustratingly difficult to do it while you're talking. But. And he does come with the stormtrooper helmet. So, as I said, our plan was originally to just put the helmet on him and he Which would be a stormtrooper. Which it does just pop on really, really easy. So, boom, there, you've got a stormtrooper figure if you really, really need. If you have two Hans somehow and you need a stormtrooper, boom, there you go. you've got a stormtrooper. <laughs> but since we have a stormtrooper, you may as well make it as though Han and Luke are sneaking into the ship yeah. so very very cool very cool figure cheating um, a little bit with it the was theme, but it was cheating but we we got away with it so you know and we, we you know we we got the original stormtrooper we didn't have to go through those skeezy methods to try to get our stormtrooper so all was good all was good and hunky-dory <laughs> and the last thing we picked up was this <laughs> this is the Black Series uh, Legacy I think, Pack. I think it's the only way to get Darth Vader on the new cards. Pretty sure it's a, I'm it's not a special edition. Yeah. Darth I'm Vader. not 100% sure on that, uh, so don't quote me on it. But this is the only way I've seen yeah. I've you never being seen able him to get him. by himself. So, so it is basically a stand that will hold all your figures for you, and it has two uh, alternate backings that you can put on them, now, and we, it comes with the Darth Vader. We weren't originally going to get this, uh, but... Tracy kind of wanted to try out the display stand to see if it would work good for her soldiers. Yes. So is that it comes with a Darth Vader, and this was actually on sale at Walmart. We managed to get it because this is normally like sixty bucks. Yeah. In, that's uh, kind in of Walmart outrageous. Canada. Really. And yeah, that that's kind of high. Sixty bucks in Walmart Canada, 60, 70 bucks or something like that. So it was on for forty. Uh, it's still a little high, but. The price of a regular one of these 40th anniversary figures is 30 bucks in Canada anyway, yeah. so you're paying 10 bucks for the stand. So we thought we'd give it a try. So let's take a look at it. So this is Darth on his card right quick if you wanted to take a quick look at that because he's not going to be on the card very long. <laughs> so there you go, Tracy. Awesome. There is your Darth Vader to show up. Oh, he looks so cool. He does look really cool, actually. Darth is the man. He's always been the man. Yeah. Right. He okay. is so awesome, you guys. There is so much detail of, like, all the buttons of, what did you call them? Boop, boop, boop. They're doop, doop. They're <laughs> doop, 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 doop buttons. Doop, doop buttons. <laughs> you yeah. can see all the, like, texture of his arms and legs on the uniform and everything. And what's really, really cool, fabric. Look at the fabric. Yeah, it's got like old fabric, like the old yeah, fashioned figures. The, I love the that. The tunic part of his outfit as well as the cape are both fabric, so it looks really nice and it's all flowy and everything. This guy has so much detail. The helmet is perfect. You gotta have a perfect well, I, helmet for yeah, Darth Vader. It's Darth Vader. The helmet is kind of iconic. You're not really allowed to mess no, that up. You do not want to screw up the helmet. He's even got that little bit of translucent in the eyes where you can see where he would be looking out through. So it's absolutely beyond perfect i love all the details and buttons and everything this is great and he comes of course with his red lightsaber you gotta have the lightsaber with darth vader look how awesome he is guys that is pretty cool this is like the greatest thing and i wasn't originally going to get him because again this set was outrageously yeah it expensive, was nuts priced but i was super excited when we found it on sale because oh yeah. my god look now how cool. you can have 
your little leader of your stormtroopers. Well, I mean, how can you have the Imperial Army without Darth Vader? Oh, yeah, it's pretty crazy. <laughs> um, this actually has two backdrops, too. Yep. The stand. There's the space uh, X-Wing fight, and there's actually a backdrop of all of the different characters. So I guess if you were collecting these particular characters, that would be... Yeah, an excellent be, backdrop to, of choice. To you know, line them all up, it would be really But cool. I think I want X-Wings and Definitely TIE Fighters have to go with the yeah, going at each other there because that sounds way cooler. Did I screw something up here? Oh, the panels have to go in in a certain <laughs> order, so let me fix that up. Okay, so the whole thing just kind of snaps together, and it's got the cardboard backing, and it's got little grooves in it to kind of hold the backing in place with little uh, clips, little clasps on the top back corners to prevent it from getting away on you. <laughs> and uh, it comes with a big old centerpiece there and a sticker for Star Wars. <laughs> so I'll let you put that on there. Okay. We get the sticker on and this just snaps right in here. And we've got a lovely Star Wars with Luke and Leia on the side there. Very, very nice. That's very cool. I really, really backdrop. like that backdrop there. Yeah, well, tell you what, I'm gonna run and grab something right quick for a second. Why don't you set these up on this stand and show everybody what it looks like with a bunch of figures set up on it. All right then. Okay, so we have eight spots in the back here and four in the front. So let's see if we can't get some of these guys on here. This might actually be a little bit tough. <laughs> the uh, holes in their feet just barely kind of squeeze in here. Derek's death trooper right in the middle there. <laughs> Thought that would be a good spot. Okay, so. Some of these were really, really super tight, and I'm trying not to move them too much so that they don't all fall out of their spots, but ta-da! There you go. Actually it looks really cool, but they're, uh, like I said, some of the pegs don't quite fit in the holes in the feet very well, so that was actually really, really difficult. But looks super cool. I'm definitely going to have to fill up the last couple of spots because this is actually really awesome, and I've got Darth Vader in the middle there looking over his army. Very, very awesome. <laughs> oh, but I got one more thing for you since that's our anniversary. Check it out! Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me! No, since we're doing a Black Series <laughs> haul, I thought it'd be a great time to give it to you, and it is our anniversary. Oh my so gosh. You want to show everybody your new toy? Oh, oh it's another lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> you, now, you now have three Three force effects lightsabers. Oh my gosh. So Jason previously gave me both the blue and red lightsabers and now I've got the green one too. Oh my god, I can't wait to look at this. Ah they're very nicely packaged, so yeah, they, uh, bear with me for just a moment. Oh styrofoam! Styrofoam oh. is the worst. Nobody likes styrofoam. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, look mm. at it. <laughs> so this is Luke's second lightsaber, the one that he actually builds himself. So the first one, the blue one I got, is actually Darth Vader's original yeah, lightsaber. Yeah, it's handed down to him, all that stuff. Well, not handed down to him, but... Well, you get you get what I'm saying. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so oh, awesome! Oh, no. I knocked the guys off! Jason's destroying everything! I am all trying to make room lightsaber. for the lightsaber! <laughs> okay, so I'm just leaving those guys over there for now. So go ahead and talk about your lightsaber. These batteries. Uh, Tracy's gone to get some batteries for this. Now, that's a pet peeve of mine, too. Yeah, I understand if you're buying, like, a $3 toy or something like that. But if you're going to pay for something as expensive as one of these Black Series lightsabers, you could at least throw in a couple batteries. Come on now, really, come on. Guys, I can't gush about these Black Series lightsabers enough because they are so incredibly, like... Cool? Absolutely <laughs> perfect to the movies. Like, you hold this next to the movie, it is absolutely designed exactly like the prop from the movie. They're absolutely amazing, they look beautiful, and... <laughs> how cool is that? Yeah, now, now you've got... So much. Now you've got a red <laughs> one, a blue one, and a green one. <laughs> so... I have more lightsabers than any one person yeah. should be allowed to have. <laughs> uh, now we got to figure out where to put them because we've got two of them upstairs right now. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, it does come with the little stand so that you can lean it, you can stick it through the hole that way and lean it up. Very versatile for display purposes yeah. and just so much fun to play with. <laughs> you love the little noises. Who doesn't love the little noises? <laughs> Guys, these are so, so amazing. They are not cheap pieces. 
so keep that in mind. But if you are a huge, 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 huge Star Wars fan like I am, these are so cool to have. They look awesome. They're fun to play with. This is so cool. Thank you so much. Happy anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> See, guys, you know you struck gold when you give your wife a lightsaber for your anniversary, and she's like, that's the best thing ever. It is <laughs> so, the best thing ever. <laughs> that's when you know you struck gold. <laughs> this was an absolutely amazing anniversary haul, mostly for yeah. me. Wait, it's all for you. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean mostly? This is all for you. You wanted an Imperial Army, and you got a bonus lightsaber. Guys, let us know what you thought of our anniversary haul, what you thought of the Stormtroopers and the Imperial Troopers and the First Order Troopers yeah, and all which of the one? Troopers. Which, which one, one was your was favorite? Your favorite? I gotta go with... I don't know. I really do like the First Order Snowtrooper, though, and I love the at I, I think I might stick with Derek's Death Trooper as my favorite, with probably Darth and the original Stormtrooper coming up a, a close second. It's too hard. I can't pick. No, you can't pick. <laughs> you can't pick. Right now, at this exact moment, I'm in love with Darth Vader. Yeah, he's he is super pretty cool, awesome and I love looking. the cape and everything. That's just too yeah. wicked. But my favorite, favorite, favorite thing right now... Is well, of course. <laughs> I meant which was your favorite figure. I know you're I not going to top the lightsaber with it. With no, with Darth though. Vader and the lightsaber. <laughs> of course, let us know, again, what you guys thought. What was your favorite trooper and what did you think of the lightsaber? Ha ha ha. Let us know in the comment section below. If you've enjoyed the video, please give us a big thumbs up. Share with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Snapchat at Tracy's Basement. Jason from TB on Twitter. And of course, as always, guys, keep coming back for more Tracy's Basement.